Hello and welcome to 7 Days of Science. Coming up this week, I let slip where Ben's gone on holiday, Colombia. Ben is asked to describe what I look like. Ornate face. And I thank Ben. Thank you, Ben. Starting off the news this week, a study published in the journal Journal of Geophysical Research Planets has looked into what rain could look like across different planets. This is not something that is extensively understood, and the study looked at three properties of raindrops to try to better understand the behaviour of clouds and precipitation on alien worlds. These three properties are their shape, their falling speed, and how quickly they evaporate. The researchers found the possibilities of these three properties could actually vary very little meaning that rain on other worlds could be surprisingly rather similar to that on Earth. In other news, the famous asteroid impact that is believed to have caused the end of non-avian dinosaurs 66 million years ago may have given rise to tropical rainforests, according to a study published this week in the journal Science. The study took a deeper look at previous research and fossil pollen and leaves from localities in Colombia, looking at all of this data in tandem with the already known ecological changes of the time. From this, the researchers concluded that after the impact of this famous asteroid, angiosperms came to dominate during the recovery of forests, fundamentally changing the structure of tropical rainforests. They became denser, with thick canopies, in contrast to the more sparse, sunlit and open forests of before. And now over to Ben, with the weather of dinosaurs. In the paleontology news for this week, we also have the naming and description of a new taxon of anurognathid pterosaur, Cynomacrops bonde. Discovered in rocks of mid to late Jurassic age from China, the fossil this new species is based on is remarkably complete. Despite being crushed and some of the brittle bones being lost after collection, most of the skeleton is preserved, and bits of soft tissue are even visible too. This new member of the Anurognathids, the bizarre grouping of small, almost bat-like pterosaurs, further adds to the known diversity of these animals in addition to helping paleontologists better understand the evolutionary relationships of these pterosaurs to their relatives. Cynomacrops is therefore an invaluable find that reveals all sorts of new information about these fascinating pterosaurs, and it's always just great to have a new Anurognathid discovery. And finally is another newly named archosaur, but this time it's a dinosaur, Ornatops incantatus. Ornatops is a new genus of Brachylophosaurian hadrosaur, a clade of dinosaurs that before now was mostly known from localities in northern North America such as Montana and Alberta, but this new species was discovered in Upper Cretaceous rocks in New Mexico. Not only is this the first record of Brachylophosaurians from this state, but it's also the southernmost occurrence, extending the known range of these animals. The name Ornatops means ornate face, alluding to an elaborate suture on the skull that indicates a solid nasal crest of unknown shape. The description of the dinosaur has also helped to further clarify the evolution of these animals, making this another remarkable and fascinating discovery. Back to Doug in the studio. Thank you, Ben. Well, that's it for 7 Days of Science this week. I do hope you enjoyed, and as always, we'll see you on Sunday.